It's an age-old debate for us Rocketeers. Should I focus on improving my offense or my defense? Hey, I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood Rocket League player here to provide a cheeky insight or two about this game. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the key to both a good offense and defense in Rocket League. I'll split the video up into these parts. Let's get into it. Sometimes in life, we can overcomplicate things. It's much the same when it comes to Rocket League 2, but as a simpleton myself, my brain can't multitask and think about all these different things at once. Thus, looking at the game like pieces to a puzzle. You may still be able to put it all together, but if you're missing one piece, it's not going to look right. So here are the pieces to the Rocket League puzzle. The first piece is you, usually the main protagonist puzzle piece. The second is your teammates. They're like the little clusters of the puzzle you make before actually finding out where to put them on the puzzle. The third is your opponents. They're usually the pieces that you tend to neglect to the last minute. The fourth is the ball. It's usually the piece you know you saw before but can't seem to find it again. The puzzle's pretty much looking complete, hey. Oh wait, I dropped these two pieces, offense and defense. Now I know I'm one for using weird analogies, but if you look at it, we only really have six pieces to the Rocket League puzzle. Some would think I'm insane and I'm missing another 4,994 pieces, but I'm just crazy enough to think that all you need are six pieces to complete this Rocket League puzzle. Now, just because I'm talking about offense first doesn't mean it's more important than defense, you cheeky rascals. While there are so many smaller pieces that go into offense, I like to box it all up to think of it as when my team is in possession of the ball. And I believe that there are three important things when it comes to offense. First up, I'm gonna talk about the holy YTO position triangle. Now this snazzy abbreviation is the position of you, the position of your teammates, and the position of your opponents. Ta-da, YTO position triangle. But hear me out, okay? Your positioning on the field is going to affect both the position of your teammates as well as the position of your opponents and vice versa. You know, if your opponent has the ball, you and your teammates are gonna position around their position. You all know about rotations throughout the game, but if we look at it from a deeper level, both both your team and your opponents rotate through trying to make an offensive play, usually once the other team has given up possession, whether that's a failed offensive play or deciding to just boom the ball down the field like I do. The second important thing is your boost levels. You're not going to be able to do much damage on offense if you only have 12 boost in the tank. Perhaps it's looking at getting a 50-50 over towards your teammate who's just collected the mid boost and has an open shot opportunity. Boost is a critical factor to being successful on offense, but not only your boost levels, but your teammates boost levels and even your opponents. Last on my list is shot selection. As you grind your way through the ranks, your shot selection becomes more and more important. Going up against opponents who know how to read a majority of plays. You don't want to be going for a flick or trying to bump your opponents out of net when the ball's only halfway down the field. Use that smart brain of yours and choose the correct shot selection. And to round off this section of the video, we'll provide you with Jack's awesome offense goodie pack. That's awesome with an O. And it's just custom training packs so the console players don't get salty at me. Who would have guessed it? When we look to discuss defense in this section of the video, I'm talking about when my team are not in possession of the ball. Defense is particularly important because a good defense allows you to set up a strong offense. Similar to rotating through offensive plays, you and your opponents will rotate through a variety of different defensive plays during a game. Now, I could be cheeky and say the YTO position triangle applies to defense too and call the video there, but I won't do that to you peeps. In fact, I think these components are important to a successful defense. First up is goal cover. Surprise, surprise, you're gonna have to cover your goal in order to defend correctly. Wow, Jack, who would have thought? But there's good goal cover, and poor goal cover. If you and your teammates are tucked away in your goals, that's poor goal cover. Whereas if you've got a teammate pushing up and you're positioned in the far goal post, that's good goal cover. Even after transitioning from defense to offense, you still want to have at least one player to cover the goals in case you turn the ball over and the opponents rush towards them. Next is shadow defense. Speaking of goal cover, Shadow defense is an essential whenever you're put in the defensive situation. You want to be on the same side of the field as your opponent to mimic their exact moves. The only difference, you're putting yourself between them and the goals. It also allows you to be in the best position possible to challenge at the right time too. Next up is backboard cover. I find backboard cover doesn't get near enough love sometimes when many defensive plays involve it. No, you don't need to be a cockroach crawling along the backboard all game. Rather, know when to and when not to position yourself on the backboard when the opposition starts to attack. But how do I know when to position myself on the backboard, Jack? Well, my friend, it's analyzing the current state of the play and what your opposition are trying to do with the ball. Backboard cover kicks in when your opponent is looking to give off a pass from it, like those amazing waterfall passes. They're lining up to boom the ball into the backboard for a double tap, or even just clearing it down the field towards your goal. Last on my list is to push for corners. Finally, if you've tuned into any of my lame videos, you know I always say corners are your best friend in Rocket League. And that's another reason why it also features here in this video. Why? Your opponents are less likely to score a goal from such a tight angle. Corners are like no man's land in Rocket League. You really can't do much with the ball when you're stuck over in them. Yeah, 
The corners influence what happens next in the game, whether that's your team getting a pinch, clear or pass to ease pressure off the defense, or having the opposition suddenly push forward to get a center across goals. And to also round off this section of the video, we'll provide you with Jack's dazzling defense goodie pack. Again, this one console friendly with just custom training packs. Use them, don't use them, it's completely up to you here. So there we have it, a couple bits and pieces to build your own offensive and defensive Rocket League puzzle. I'll be back again soon to fill your brain with a dose of Rocket League goodness. Well, at least I hope it's somewhat good. And also, if you're still here to this point in the video, you're the real MVP and just a big shout out for all the support on my latest video. I mean, you all are really making it tough on my schedule to fit in marathon training as well as uploading Rocket League content. But I do it because I love you all. I'm Jack and I'll see you next time. Catch up.